This video brought to you in part by these fantastic Patreons. Patreons are the lifeblood and the backbone of this channel and help with cool things like the giveaway in the description. But let's get into the video. Greetings, Masters. Love is in the air, and you don't have long to prepare. You may have seen the announcement of the Valentine's Day rerun and thought, huh, shouldn't be too bad. All the reruns so far have been pretty easy and uh, queerable in no time at all. With this one, though, you would be wrong. They are doubling down on the CEs, and if you didn't get everything last time around, that just means more farming for you this event. This time, you can get the CEs for not only your waifus, but your husbandos as well. So, let's jump into it. Once CEs and shop items, you're going to need to collect some chocolates and some chocolate coins. Material chocolates and chocolate coins will be dropping, and you're going to need a lot of these. 150 coins per CE and around 34,000 material chocolate. Yeah, that's if you want to clear out the entire shop, which... Speaking of, the shop is going to have Dragon's Fangs, Gears, Knights, Metals, Gallstones, Lanugos, Tar, Scales, and a Lore, as well as more. The CEs out of this shop are going to be the Sweet Crystal and Fondant au chocolat. These are going to increase your drops of all classes by two, and obviously three when limit broken. Personally, out of the two, I'd shoot for fondant first, as it will give you increased damage against divine, and will start you off at 50% when limit broken. Sweet Crystal has pierce and vulnerability, as well as that 50% starting NP as well. Regardless, you will want to get both of these first, as they will help increase your drop rates by a lot. Speaking of drops, you are going to have some options here first off this is how it's going to work let me break it down for you the gotcha ce's these are going to give you bonus drops for the equipped classes anti-class that's right slap it on a saber and get you some lancer chocolate coins riders to get caster coins and well you get the gist berserkers will only get a rate up for berserker coins and rulers or avengers will get all class coins that's not all class coins but the all class coin the one that's on the screen so that way you know it's not like all classes Anyways, I know that's a lot to handle there. The shop CEs, however, do not have that restriction as they increase drop rates for every class by plus two to plus three across the board. So if Lancer coins do drop, you're getting extra regardless of who you have these bad boys slapped on. Now, the class CEs that you get from turning in your chocolates, these also have a restriction in that they will only give you plus two drop bonus to the Choco coins of that servant's class. Want some extra saber coins? Slap the CE that you are your deceived on a saber and stick them in the back row. Bam, easy clap, boys. Should be easy, Shogun. Just farm the node with the sabers and I'll get all of the saber coins, right? Yeah, if only it were that easy. So you're going to have two types of nodes, three knights and four horsemen, and I'm pretty sure that you can already figure out who goes into what. Three knights is going to have archer saber lancers, while the four horsemen have the rest. Now, the other thing that is fun about this is that each node is very random in what will show up. So if you are aiming for just archer coins, well, there's no real nodes that you can just farm for archers, but wait! That's where these bad boys come into play. That's right, the class Choco Molds. These will increase the chances of that class of enemy appearing. It doesn't make it 100% guaranteed, but it will definitely beast up those chances. These will be dropping as items from clearing out the nodes, so save them up to either cap out certain coins that you need near the end of the event, or use them to firm certain ascension materials. Using these increases the likelihood that certain enemies will spawn. So on nodes like the 40 AP Royal Four Horsemen node, you will see on my screen here that you have a chance at hearts and gallstones. Dropping a caster mold will give you a better chance at getting a demon, whereas a berserker mold will give you a better chance at a boar. Now, taking a look at some of the nodes to farm here, you're going to obviously have the 40 AP Royal Quest. These are going to be where your gold drops are going to be coming from. The three knights will net you a chance at roots, tear stones, and bicorn horns, but if you're really looking to farm 
your three knights coins, I would actually suggest the 40 AP sweet node because gears on, gears on, gears. Your first two nodes are going to be full of robots. So if you're looking for gears, you can disassemble them here. Your overall class coins will be a little bit lower, but you do have a better chance at material chocolate. So maybe save this until after you've finished getting the CEs that you want and you're on full farm mode. For four horsemen, the royal one is going to net you hearts and gallstones, as I mentioned, and that is always welcome. But the real MVP, for me anyways, is going to be, again, the 40 AP sweet node because pages, boys. Tons and tons of books in this one. But the nice thing is, is that every node has something that you can farm. There's a node with horseshoes, there's plumes, there's seeds, there's reverse scale, there's there's tar, there's uh, void dust drops in pretty much every node as well because you're going to be fighting shadow versions of everything. The other nice thing too, statues, you've got gems. This is a very, very good farming event. Not to mention you do have the Sweet Crystal and the Chocolat CEs that will drop. Now I'm not sure, but I do believe that Sweet Crystal only drops from three knights and the Chocolat only drops from four horsemen. If that is incorrect, please do correct me down in the comments like i said it's not very tough very straightforward just get out there put your apron on get ready to farm some chocolate easy peasy event anyways guys i hope that this has helped you out a little bit and i hope that you get all of the ce's from your most valued waifus and husbandos me personally i am going to be trying to clear out everything that i haven't gotten already so look forward to some streams on that and some massive amounts of farming but anyways i would like to thank all of the patreons who helped make this channel possible you guys are fantastic if you would like to join them there's a link down in the description below but if you would like to help out the channel just make Make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification, drop me a like and a comment, and I will catch you guys next time. Take it easy, Masters. Peace.